Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 43-inch MI Smart LED TV. This is the model number. Here the complete is with the panel. Here the display shows double image. See friends, this is the fault. Here you can see double image and flickering picture. These types of complaints are mainly due to internal shouting in gate signals inside the glass panel. The shouting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. If both sides of the panel is short, then it is not repairable. After all, we can fix this panel complaint by blocking gate signals and into the panel either from the left side or the right side. This is just only a temporary solution. So the permanent solution is the panel replacement. And we cannot predict how long the TV will work with this method. It just depends on the lack basis of the user. So friends, please watch the video completely without skipping. Now we open the back cover of the LED TV. Here you can see this is the motherboard. Since it's a 43 inch LED TV, here you can see this is a LG T-Con. It means that it's a 43 inch LG panel is used in this TV. So now to repair this TV, here we first going to block the gate signals either from the left side or the right side of the panel. Here the gate signals are entering to the panel through the T-Con board. So we need to block the gate signals entering to the panel from the T-Con board. Here we using the taping method to prevent the gate signals entering to the panel from the T-Con board through this FFC cable. In this video, here we marked the gate signal tracks from the right side and the left side. Here you can see the picture. So these are the gate signal tracks from the left side and the right side of the T-Con board. Here you can see the complaint is still there. See double image and flickering issue. So let's start the repair. Here first I am going to block the gate signals from the right side of the T-Con board first and check the picture is ok or not so here we block the gate signals using a cello type here you can see now let's turn on the tv and check the picture see friends now the tv is released from the standby Now the backlight is on. So now let's check the picture. See friends, now the complaint is there. See the display still showing double image and flickering picture. So the complaint is not solved. It means that here the right side gate signals are okay. So the problem is with the left side gate signal tracks so instead of blocking the right side gate signal now i'm going to block the left side gate signal tracks using a cello type 
See friends, now we removed the cell load tape from the right side FFC cable and now we fixed a cell load tape in the left side FFC cable. By this method, here we blocked the gate signals entering to the panel through this T-cone board. So, now the TV is turned on. Now, let's release it from the standby. Now the TV is released from the standby. See friends, now the TV is turned on. Here you can see, now there is no double image and picture freezing issue. Here you can see, now the panel compliant is solved successfully. This means that the problem is with the left side gate signal tracks by blocking the gate signal tracks from the left side. Now the panel complaint is solved successfully and the TV is repaired. See friends, now the panel is repaired successfully. After all, this is just only a temporary solution and we cannot predict how long the display will work using this method. So at present, now the display is ready and we solved the double image complaint. So now let's put all screws back to TV. See friends, this is the final result. Now the TV is working properly without any picture freezing issue or double image. So, hope you like this video. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. See you in another video with another interesting topics. So, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. So thanks for watching.